Hi everyone. In this video, I'll show you where to use API and where to use implementation while using the Cradle dependencies. If you are working with a project which is having just a single module, then you need not to worry. You can simply use the implementation. But when it comes to multi-module project, in that case, you will have to think of the scenarios where you have to use API and you will also have some of the scenarios where you need to use implementation. Here I have created three modules, module one, module two and module three. So module two is being required in module one and module one is required in the module three. Now we will see how can we add the dependencies in the Cradle. In the module two, we have one class utility wherein we have one method which simply returns the date from the Java util date and the another method that returns the date time from the Joda date time. So here, because this date is already part of Java util, that means that is available in the class path. But we have the date time, which is part of the external dependency. We can add the dependency by applying the implementation or by applying the API. Let's start with the implementation. So here we have the implementation and we are adding the Joda date time dependency for this particular version. As soon as we added the dependency, now we are able to access this date time. So far, so good. Now we will use this module two in module one. Here in this module one, we want to use utility class of the module two. And again, for this, we need to add the dependency of the other module in our project. In the build.gradle file of this module one, we can add the dependency. This time, instead of external dependency, we need to add the internal dependency of module. And for that, we can use the implementation. And here we have this project and the module name. With this dependency, if we refresh the module, now we are able to access this utility class from the module two. And in the main class, we are just printing the current date we have added this application module and with the help of this plugin, we can run the main class of our module by simply running the run task. So here we need to run the run task of module one. So it is printing the date which we are getting from the module one that is making use of the current date. Now in this module one, instead of the get current date if you want to print the other date which is coming from the Jura date time. So here we have this get Jura date time and now instead of date it must return date time but right now we are able to access this utility but we are not able to access this date time. We have added the dependency of module 2 here but we haven't added the dependency of the Jura date time. But anyways, we should be expecting this coming from the module two because we have added this Joda date time dependency in module two, right? But it does not work that way. Whenever we use the implementation in certain module, if we are making that module part of another module, so only classes which are part of the specific module will be part of the parent module. And all the child dependencies will be excluded to access the transitive dependencies, we need to add the API instead of the implementation. So now here I have added this API and I just comment this out. If we refresh this module two, so here it says could not find method API. To use this API, we need to add the plugin Java library. So this API is part of the Java library plugin. So if we refresh this, just import this date time. We are able to access this date time. And now let's run this module one. It has printed the different date that is coming from the Joda date time. So this was about the external dependencies. Here we have this module one and this is what we want to use in module three. For that, of course, we can add this implementation as module one. In the application main class, we are able to access this module one and we are able to access the current date of that module because this is part of the module one. That is what we have added in this build out cradle, right? But we are not able to access this utility class. This is 
because this is coming from the module 2 which is being added into module 1 as a dependency but it has been added as the implementation so only module 1 will be part of the module 3 whenever we will add module 1 as the dependency if we need the transitive dependency of module 2 in module 3 in module 1 we have to apply the api okay now when we do this add this java library refresh our project okay so now we are able to access this utility so if it is about the external dependency or about the different modules you can always use api when you need to have the transitive dependencies of the child module in the parent module but if you just need the dependency of the child module not the transitive dependency always use implementation because it will be faster i hope this video is helpful to understand the difference between the api and the implementation see you next time with the other video till then happy coding